Enjoy a narrated virtual tour of gliders and sailplanes exhibited in the National Air and Space Museum's Stephen F. Udvarhazy Center. The museum is in Chantilly, Virginia, outside of Washington, D.C., is free to visit, but there's a $15 parking fee. World War II factory records show that workshops in Germany and occupied countries produced 4,104 Brunu Baby Twos. After the war, thousands more were built in Czechoslovakia, Spain, Sweden, Great Britain, and Australia. In 1933, Richard C. DuPont and Holly Bolas set up shop in San Fernando, California to build gliders. Their most successful competition sailplane was the Senior Albatross. The Falcon, seen here, was the third of the four Senior Albatrosses built and was purchased by Warren Eaton. Eaton was a veteran World War I pilot and flew the Falcon over the Blue Ridge Mountains. The Frankfurt TG-1A was the first aircraft selected for training U.S. Army glider pilots to fly the Waco CG-4A combat assault glider. Stan Corcoran produced gliders for the civilian market at his Frankfurt Sailplane Company factory before submitting a bid. In May 1942, the firm won a contract to build 40 TG-1As, but lacked the resources to quickly build more. The Bolus BA-100 Baby Albatross was sold as a series of builder kits to pilots interested in flying at a time when money for such activities was hard to come by. The kit cost one-fifth the $2,500 asking price of the higher-performance Bolus DuPont Senior Albatross. Bolus made parts for about 90 aircraft and sold between 40 and 60 kits before the program ended at the start of World War II. Reimar Horton refined the line of all-wing sailplanes by building at least 18 examples of the Horton III beginning in 1938. Horton fitted this example, called the Horton 3F, with a flat prone couch for the pilot, joining the Wright Brothers' 1903 Flyer as the only aircraft configured for prone pilotage in the National Air and Space Museum's collection. Robert M. Stanley completed the Nomad in June 1938 during a stint in the U.S. Navy. With no previous experience flying sailplanes, Stanley first flew the Nomad in the 1938 National Soaring Contest at Elmira, New York. Stanley returned to Elmira in 1939 and he flew the Nomad to a new American altitude record, 16,400 feet, more than double the old record. The next day, Stanley broke the record again, climbing to 17,284 feet inside a towering thundercloud. Immediately after World War II, Ernest Schweitzer designed the SGU-2-22EK as an inexpensive, easy-to-fly two-seat training glider. Built from aluminum, they could operate from small airfields. 257 2-22s were manufactured from 1946 to 1967, when it was superseded by the improved SGS-2-33. Thousands of people learned to fly motorless aircraft at the controls of the 2-22, and many of these airplanes remained active in 2003. When built as kits, 2-22 EKs were accepted by the FAA as certified aircraft, not amateur builds. In 1945, William H. Bolas and Ted Nelson formed the Nelson Aircraft Corporation to build a two-seat motor glider version of the popular Bolas BA-100 Baby Albatross, one that could self-launch. Their Dragonfly retained the basic Baby Albatross design, but with a significantly widened cockpit, side-by-side -side seating, and flight controls for each occupant. 
The self-launch capability degraded the performance, reducing its appeal to most prospective motor glider owners, and they only sold seven dragonflies. The Arlington Sisu was one of the most successful American competition sailplanes ever flown. John Ryan in 1962, Dean Sveck in 1965, and A.J. Smith in 1967 all won the United States National Soaring Championship flying a Sisu. On July 31, 1964, Alvin H. Parker took off from his hometown in Odessa, Texas in the National Air and Space Museum Sisu 1A and flew 1,042 kilometers, 647 miles. This flight shattered a symbolic and psychological barrier that had defeated sailplane pilots around the world for years, the 1,000-kilometer milestone. Test pilots at Grabwerke GmbH and company KG in Germany first flew the Grab 102 Standard Astaire III late in 1980. It is one of several Grab Company design models that conform to the International Standard Class category of competitive sailplanes adopted in 1958. On February 17, 1986, Robert Harris flew this Grab 102 Standard Astaire III and set a world altitude record of 49,009 feet. I hope you enjoyed this narrated virtual tour of gliders and sailplanes displayed in the Stephen F. Udvar-Hazy Center of the National Air and Space Museum. If you would like to tour other aircraft in this series, you will find convenient links in the description section below this video. Here are YouTube suggested links on similar topics that you may enjoy.